The most beautiful experience we can have is the mysterious. It is the fundamental emotion that stands at the cradle of true art and true science. Whoever does not know it and can no longer wonder, no longer marvel, is as good as dead. And their eyes are dimmed. Few are those who see with their own eyes and feel with their own hearts. I believe in intuitions and inspirations. I sometimes feel that I am right. I do not know that I am. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. All great achievements of science must start from intuitive knowledge namely in axioms, from which deductions are then made. Intuition is the necessary condition for the discovery of such axioms. Concepts are simply empty when they stop being firmly linked to experiences. They resemble social climbers who are ashamed of their origins and want to deny them. Anything we say about the real world must be, by necessity, hypothetical and a construction of the human mind. For what is immediately given to us are only sense perceptions. Our notions of physical reality can never be final. We have been endowed with just enough intelligence to be able to see clearly just how utterly inadequate that intelligence is when confronted with what exists. If this humility could be imparted to everybody, the world of human endeavours would become more appealing. In every true searcher of nature, there is a kind of religious reverence. For they find it impossible to imagine 
that they are the first to have thought out the exceedingly delicate threads that connect their perceptions. Religion and science go together. As I've said before, science without religion is lame. And religion without science is blind. They are interdependent and have a common goal. The search for truth. All religions, arts and sciences are branches of the same tree. Everyone who is seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that some spirit is manifest in the laws of the universe one that is vastly superior to that of humans. In this way, the pursuit of science leads to a religious feeling of a special sort. study and, in general, the pursuit of truth and beauty is a sphere of activity in which we are permitted to remain children all our lives. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. I live in that solitude, which is painful in youth, but delicious in the years of maturity. Although I am a typical loner in daily life, My consciousness of belonging to the invisible community of those who strive for truth, beauty and justice has preserved me from feeling isolated.
I have remained a simple fellow who asks nothing of the world. Only my youth is gone. The enchanting youth that forever walks on air. There is, after all, something eternal that lies beyond the reach of the hand of fate and of all human delusions. And such eternals lie closer to an older person than to a younger one who oscillates between fear and hope. There remains something subtle, intangible, and inexplicable. Veneration for this force, beyond anything that we can comprehend, is my religion. The striving to free oneself from this delusion of separateness is the one issue of true religion. Not nurturing the illusion, but only overcoming it, gives us the attainable measure of inner peace. We are architects of our own destinies.